Hello fellow Augs, Kato Genesis here, and welcome to the Breach Software Guide for Deus Ex Mankind Divided. In this guide, I'll be going over all the locations of the 30 Breach software you can find in the game, and give you a brief introduction as to what they are for. Breach is now a standalone portion of the game, which involves hacking but in a simulation type format. In Breach, you can gain things called booster packs for completing missions and acquiring credits. However, for every five Breach software discs you collect in Mankind Divided, and after exchanging them with the nice man at Tech Noir in Prague, you will get a free booster pack the next time you start up Breach, for extra equipment, credits, and modifiers to use in the simulations. You can get a total of six booster packs this way. On that note, all of the Breach software can be redeemed one time. These will each be listed by their position in the menu rather than by progression, so a couple of them will seem out of order. With all that in mind, let's get started. The first piece of Breach software is found in the Task Force 29 headquarters in the Forensics Lab. There's a room in the back with a locked safe. Hack your way in or find the key code and the software is yours. Shortly after you get to Prague, you are sent to Kohler's time machine to see about getting your glitchy interface fixed. The first of the two Breach software discs you find here will be atop the freestanding bookshelf labeled Biography on the first floor, among some other useful software. The second bit of breach found here is located in Kohler's basement workshop. It sits on a small shelf at the back of Kohler's desk. The fourth is in the Otar Casino. To access it, you can go to an alleyway behind the tube house in the northwestern section of Prague. Get into the sewers and from here you can either talk your way in or sneak to Mr. Bocavelli's office and take the breach software from his desk. The fifth piece of software is found in Ruzika Station, you know, the one that got blown up, at the top of the first stairwell right after you get off the train. Get into the restricted hallway on your right, and follow it all the way to the end to a small server room. It is sitting in between the two towers in the corner. Next stop, Golem City. After passing through the Labyrinth of Slums, you will arrive at the ARC Headquarters. After getting to RVAC Row, get to the unit labeled 550125, which should be directly behind the decorative lighting. There are three data terminals in a row here. The breach software is on the one in the center. The next area from here should be Riddit Station. From the first floor here, you simply need to find the large security room, the one with equipment that may have something to do with security. The software sits to the right of the wall of monitors. Now the main objective in Golem City is to reach Talos Rucker's office. Once you do, and exchange words or something else with him, you can find the breach software here on a desk full of books in a small adjacent room. After your business in Golem City concludes, you can then return to Prague to unlock additional areas where you can find breach software. The ninth breach software can be found at the Monument Metro Station, just north of the river in Prague, within the tourist information center that had been closed down. It sits on the counter behind the glass. So I wonder what the tourists do if they need information. During Mission 11, you gain access to an apartment complex on the southern end of Prague called the Church of the Machine God. The first bit of software you can find in here is on the third floor in apartment 93. There's a place in the back that appears boxed in by various electronic equipment that you can actually crouch underneath and get inside. The software should be directly in front of you when you stand up again. On the other side is apartment 95, where you find the next piece of breach software. Get inside and go straight back through the next room, and you will see a painting. Activating it will reveal a little safe. The breach software is inside. The twelfth piece of breach software can also be found in the Church of the Machine God, on the fourth floor in Allison's apartment, which is number 96, where the magic happens, I suppose? The software is on a set of shelves right next to the restroom. The next three are found in Palisade Property Bank, on the northwest side of Prague. The first of the breach software in here is found in the Executive Safes, side A, that is to the left of the security room. There's a secret switch on the back wall. Press it to gain access to this room, and the safe inside contains breach software number 13. If you leave the A section of executive safes, directly across the hall, understandably, is the B section. In here is the 14th breach software you seek. You're looking for the safe cluster labeled B04, and out of the four safes here, you want the one closest to the wall furthest from the entrance. The 15th piece of software is found in the CEO's secret office of the Palisade Property Bank. All the way on the 9th floor, you can either mess with the pillar puzzle to open up this secret area of the office, or you can take a passage behind the TV. 
Either way, after getting inside the secret office, the breach software is right on the desk. After you're done in Palisade, move on to mission 13. This takes place within the Garm facility, and there are two pieces of breach software here. The first you can find in Hangar 1. When you come down into the hangar, there are a couple of pods on the left side. The second pod contains the breach software on a table next to a monitor. The 17th breach software is in Hangar 2. The north side of Hangar 2, third floor, there is a lounge and some other smaller rooms. Hang a left when you get into this cluster of rooms and go into the one with the camera attached to it. And there the software sits on a desk. After taking care of things in the Garm facility, you return to Prague for the third time. And at this point, all areas should be open to you. For the 18th breach software, we go to the Diwali Theater, on the east side of Prague, behind the red light district. Infiltrate the theater, or mow everybody down, and find your way to the backstage area. Get into the manager's office and there is a small room with a security terminal. Right next to that is the breach software. Jumping around a bit, on the northwest side of Prague is the Palisade Station. This is where you find breach software number 19 in this metro station's security office. Pretty straightforward, it's on the desk. Directly across from the Palisade station is Tube House. You can locate the 20th software by taking the door in the back down to the basement of Tube House. It sits on the arm of the couch in here. Number 21 is found in somewhat of an unmarked apartment that is just northwest of TF-29's entrance. This apartment's only accessible from its balcony, so the Icarus dash might be helpful here. Get inside and on your left is a safe that is normally covered by a painting. The software is within the safe. Number 22 is in the storage unit underneath Tech Noir, which is on the western side of Prague, south of TF-29. You can access it from either side, but the door in the back leads directly to it if you can unlock it, revealing a passage to the storage unit itself. The software lies on the shelf in here. Number 23 is at Subcheck Security. This is located on the connecting street between TF-29 and Chicane's place. Make it inside however you see fit, and head down to the basement here. The breach software is in the cubby on the right side, like many before, on top of the desk. Number 24 is in the sewers next to a shop called The Music Box. This is just south of the red light district. After you are down below, you can follow the linear path into a room that is full of gas. Now you can have the breathing aug for this or turn off the valves nearby. Because the breach software is within this gas cloud on a desk. South of Chicane's place is the abandoned limb clinic, which is where you'll find software number 25. Get into the clinic's attic, and you'll see several things worth grabbing. The breach software is inside the cardboard box that has the medical cooler on top of it. On the northeast side of Prague is the Pilgrim Metro Station, and the 26th piece of software. If you get into the restricted hallway behind the ticket booth, and take the door into the first room, you will find yourself in the presence of yet another breach software. Speaking of the Pilgrim Metro Station, there's a cafe right next to it. Above this cafe is an apartment and breach software number 27. You can get up to the apartment by Icarus dashing or jumping up to the balcony or taking the door in the back and going down to the basement, hacking a few panels and taking the ventilation route. After finding a way up, the software sits on a bookshelf right next to the vent. Next is in the poor sewers, number 28. These sewers are located just south of Jensen's apartment, and once you make your way down, hang a right and follow the corridor all the way to the back until you find a door with a sign saying good people don't go upstairs. If it's your first time here, someone might be in distress, which will lead you into a side quest. After you resolve this side quest and decide to be a bad person and go upstairs, you'll find the breach software within Richard's office. Speaking of Jensen's apartment, you will find breach software number 29 right across the way from his. If you get into apartment 41, the software will be on the desk, right next to the Icarus symbolism? We'll go with that. 30th on this list is not far from the last two locations. It is in Capex Station, the metro we should all be familiar with at this point. Like most of these, there is a restricted hallway behind the ticket booth. Trespass successfully and follow the hallway to the end, to what understandably appears to be a security room, and the breach software is on the desk next to two large monitors. That fellow Oggs is all of the breach software you can find in Deus Ex Mankind Divided. If you found this guide useful and or hopefully entertaining, do whatever it is you see fit to show that. If you want more quick to the point guides like this one, you know what to do. Thanks so much for watching. This is Kato Genesis, and good luck uncovering the truth in Deus Ex.